What's good everyone? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. We had a minor setback in this chicken coop build. And I'm not talking about my crusty dirty daughter. Say hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> We're all ready to set and get moving with this sucker and then uh, we had this huge storm coming. It wasn't supposed to be a crazy storm, it was just supposed to be some rain and a little bit of wind. Not a big deal. I was pretty much awake throughout the entire storm and at no point did it ever feel like, man, this is going to be bad. Except the wind wasn't a little bit of wind, it was a lot of wind. And that lot of wind dropped some trees and of course. When I say it dropped trees, I mean it dropped trees into our creek, which then in turn caused flooding of the creek. And because this is life on Beagle Road, that flood had to make its way up onto the property right where we have the chicken coop. Woke up the next day, came out, and uh, well, it was not a good sight. I'm recording you. Oh, on your yeah. You gotta help me with stuff. I know, but I was gonna have you explain what happened here. Holy crap. Um, well, I mean, we got so much rain that it literally washed away our wood, but we got lucky and it hit a log on its way over the bank. Look at this. I think we might have even gotten lucky that the wood was wrapped up in the tarps. No, we didn't. No, it soaked, huh? Yeah. Absolutely soaked. It was all the way over there. Way, way over there. Yeah. Oh, man, it is under there. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that stuff is rocked. Dang. Yeah. All we can do is get it out. Oh, is that? Oh my God! Did the whole thing flood? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh sh. Uh. There's like. My, all and that floor's got to come up now. Oh my God. It's just a bad spot for it. All right, well, I guess you chickens get to come out today. Did it even, it even ran oh through. Oh my God, we have ducks. How did we get ducks in there? There are ducks in there. Did you put those in there? Did you put those ducks in there? <laughs> Why are there ducks in there, Courtney? That's not cool. Why are there ducks in there? They must have washed in in the floor. Why are there ducks in there? We're not keeping those ducks. Like, where did you get full-grown ducks? They must have washed in. You're lying. In You're lying. Where did you get ducks? On a farm. Why, Courtney? We discussed this. You were to ask me. You can't just go get ducks. Well, now we have bigger problems. Water usually goes out around this. Like it always goes out around this area. Right. Like it runs, it runs down right here. here. Yep. Like we've over got video there. For the last however many years. Right. And it's that's not why we chose here. this spot. And now. Not here. Now it flooded.
that was actually the worst flooding this property has seen uh, in, well, pretty much the entire time Courtney has been here on this property, which is a long, long time. It just so happened that the creek dammed up in two or three different places on our property and with three inches of rain all at one time, it was way too much water for the creek to handle. It came rushing over top of uh, the surface here, right over to where we have our chicken coop temporarily, because this isn't where it's gonna stay. We're gonna move it as soon as we're done building it. And um, well, you saw what happened. On the bright side, well, I don't really know what the bright side is. It actually wasn't bright at all. It's terrible. But we got some new T111. I got it all cut up already and started putting it on the chicken coop. And now we're gonna put up whatever's left, get it on here and get cracking. Uh, we also have to go back in and reassemble everything that I spent the last three videos putting in. Good news is it should be quick. And I'm probably not gonna bother you too much with that because you've already seen me put it in once. Uh, it'll probably be one of those things where I'm like, there it is, woohoo! I don't know, we'll see. We gotta get this sucker done. Y'all are probably tired of me uh, building this coop. I can tell you that I am pretty much tired of building the coop myself, and I'd like to move on to some bigger, better things. Let's get cracking. The roof is on these purlins, and I have the purlins extending past the side of the chicken coop. I'm gonna cut those off, otherwise I won't be able to get in the siding. The first time I did this, I made the mistake of not going the whole way up and leaving these purlins out. And now I wanna take it the whole way up and cut these off, so that way I can get the siding the whole way up and then put some trim on the outside. Courtney, did you drop this camera? There's mud all over this camera. You dropped this camera, didn't you? Come on, girlfriend. Courtney's gonna get grounded from using this camera. We're gonna get her like one of those kitty Polaroid cameras. If our videos start losing quality whenever Courtney uh, records, it's because she's grounded. I'm going to route this out, see how this goes. I drilled a little hole right here that my router bit will go in, and then I'll just ride the inside uh, where the wood is, and it should give me a nice clean hole. Should. <laughs> Okay, that was faster, way faster. And the router bit, all that did was heat up, get way too hot. Now I can take the router and just go along these edges. I was trying to conserve these as much as possible, but I think what I'll do is just trim them all down to uh, a square size and then put trim around it. Uh, so that way it's at least close to what I was looking for.
think at some point I might have said that I like to do things the hard way first so I can figure out the right way to do it later. Well, there you go. The hard way, the easy way. One more window to put in and then we've got all the walls and all the windows in. And then next we can get to working on some serious stuff like making it pretty or putting the insides back in.